Hello everyone, happy Mother's Day, all of y'all. Have a lovely Mother's Day. So I'm gonna bring you guys a good night story. It's called God Bless You and Good Night. Written by Hannah C. Hall and illustrated by Steve Whitlow. It's time to stretch from small to tall to see the moon so bright. It lights our way and seems to say, God bless you and good night. Was that a little growl I heard? It sounded like your tummy. Let's get a snack then hit the sack. You're needing something yummy. Who's ready for a bedtime bath? The bubbles streak the sky. I feel the tassel scrub it up and watch those bubbles fly. Now, get yourself all dressed for bed. Your jammies make me giggle. You're all so sweet from head to feet. Those peppers really wiggle. Come climb up here on Mama's lap and read a book with me. I know of one that is lots of fun. Hop over and you'll see it. I'll wrap you safely in my arms and squeeze my snuggle bug. There's nothing more that I adore than a sleepy bedtime hug. Let's settle down and settle in. Close our eyes to pray. You wrestled, raced, and run and chased. God, thank you for this day. Oh, it is time to sing a lullaby. Oh. Who should choose a song? There's one I love about God above, and you can sing along. You're ready now to cuddle down. There's one last thing to do. I'll hold you near so you can hear me whisper. Love you. The night lights glowing just enough. You're tucked in toasty tight. It is time for bed, you fuzzy head. Now God bless you and good night. And that is the end of the story. Well, what's very really most important is that we all should learn about Mother's Day. Mother's Day, we celebrate it with the love of our mothers who raised us to be ourselves. 
who'll take us to school, read us stories, or who are always there for us. That's what mothers are there for. To support us, to love us, and to have fun with us. That's why we should always love our mothers every day, every week, every month, every year, birthdays, holidays. We should always give thanks to our mothers, our grandmothers, great grandmothers, and all an entire family. Because, right, Mr. Crow? Well, we should always be thankful for what our mothers gave to us. A home, food, clothes, and shelter. This is Bluey, our bird puppet. He's our new friend. Well, this is story time. Well, I am Mr. Crow, so yes, this is story time. This is our friend Bluey, Bluey the bird. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Crow, and everybody else. But, what's very most important that we learn about the storybook is that we shall always love our mothers, who are always there for us, especially our grandmothers, our tias, our, our aunties, and our brothers, sorry, our sisters, and our cousins. Well, yes, you shall always... Well, and you have sisters that have kids, you should be thankful for them. Because they do anything for their kids. Love them, support them, and always be there for them. That's why it's very important to love our mothers. Because they're always there for us. And lots of problems with school, at home, everywhere. Because our mothers will always fight for us. And we love them very much. Right, Mr. Crow? Do you love your mommy? And your grandma and your sisters and cousins? Yes, I do. What about you? Do you love your mommy, your grandma, and your sisters and cousins? Yes, I really do. Because some of them are parents and, well, they have their family to raise. That's why we always celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day. That's why you should always be thankful for your family, for your shelter, for clothes, for food. Yes, and a roof over our heads. And always hug your mothers. Yes, always hug them because they are always there for you. And your family. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. We love you all. Happy Mother's Day. Ta da! Ta da! Well, you should always love your mothers, grandmothers, your aunties. And, and also you have sisters or cousins or, or who are also have kids. Well, you should also support them, love them, and also help them out. And they need your help. Because they want to, they are mothers and so they need help. Our mothers need me a lot of support, love, and our hearts. It's hard to lose someone that you love the most. But what's very important is the memories that you keep with the person that you love. The heart. I love my mama very much. I love my older sister and her two daughters. I love everyone very much. That's why you should always love your family. Never hate them. Always love them. They're always there for you. 
and I always love you very much. All right, I gotta go, everyone. I love you all. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Feliz Dias de las Madres. Adios.